Everybody does something so nobody feels that they aren't pulling their weight with taking care of mom. Hello again, Sue. Hi. Nice to meet Good you to for the first time. Yeah, right. <laughs> now that I know who I'm looking for. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's take it back for a second. We've been taking mom for about two years now. I know she's in hospice care now before she was in memory care, assisted living. But can you take it back to that time when you saw or you were transitioning from her being independent to you know graduating to all those other levels of care? And what was going on in your life? What were you feeling? And any changes that might have happened um, at that time? Right now, I'm going, I've been grieving, if you will. My mom has changed to hospice now, and I had to make the decision as to whether we would go that route or not. But she needed more hands-on care, and I have to work. I have a 17-year-old. Um, I mean, I've got other obligations, and I can't be home every day, all day, just to be with her. And before, she would get up and move around, so you couldn't trust her. Now she's not getting up and around, but I'm not gonna leave her in a house all by herself. I can't give it to her every day. Out of all the kids in my family, we can't all do it. We don't even live in the same towns as each other. That's right. And so That's we're right. all over the map. But I have one brother that comes with her and has lunch with her every Thursday. Everybody does something, so nobody feels that they aren't pulling their weight with taking care of mom. We're also very lucky that we're close. All your and, siblings. Yes. Yeah. And, um, we believe in the same thing when it comes to uh, taking care of somebody. What were some of the things that you had to do for yourself before taking care of mom? If you have family and family can work together, yeah. you need to let each other help each other because just because you might be the nurturer, the touchy-feely one, mm -hmm. you may not have any sense of finances. Right. You may not have any sense of how to sell a house, you, and somebody has to do it. Yeah, right. So if you've got one in the group, have them do it. Everybody is going to go through some kind of journey to the end, and they're going to need help. Yeah. You're going to need help at the end. That's right. If you're single and you're, you know, an, uh, a hermit that lives by themselves under a bridge, whatever they're gonna be having a, a journey that they're gonna need some support. Themselves, yes. um, and I, we don't live in a vacuum. So we all need to talk about it and it shouldn't be scary. It because, be, yeah. because it's natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are scary things out there, yes. But whether you can get yourself to the bathroom at two in the morning or not shouldn't be scary. Yeah. And we all need to start thinking about that. It's not easy because there's guilt that goes with it. Are you going to be the one that tells your family that you're going to lock your grandmother up? Are you going to be the one that says, I can't do this anymore. Let's find a place to put grandma. I mean, That's a tough conversation. it's a very yeah. tough conversation.